and welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl, JVB. As always, first and foremost, thank you so much for being here on my channel, checking out my reactions, as well as my own music. For those of you who do not know, I recently released my comeback song of 2024, Happy Ending. I'm so excited about this and I hope that if you haven't yet to check it out in the description below, you're going to find the link. I would love for you to play it, support it, add it to your playlist and Thank you so much to those of you who have listened to it on YouTube, on Spotify, iTunes, wherever, downloaded it, supported it, means the world to me. This is just the beginning. I also played a few shows with my band, Otto's Daughter, a little throwback, reunion. It was so much fun and it just reminded me of how fun, exciting and exhilarating it is to be an artist. I took a little break and I told you, I promised you, I will be back with some reactions. And I recently did Ren and Chinchilla and you recommended recommended, highly recommended to do some chinchilla like her solo stuff. So Fingers was one of those that I'm going to check out today and I'm super excited because she's so talented and I believe is she either on America's, America's Got Talent or The Voice? She was on either one of those and I can still see this because she's super talented. With no further ado, let's get straight into it. Chinchilla Fingers Live for Hunger TV. What I love about her, uh, I'm, I love theatrics and she's so theatrical. I love that so much. She's so expressive. Her voice is absolutely beautiful and haunting. Um, I didn't quite understand all the words, to be honest, what she was singing about. Um, but I do, oh, and I love her nails. Like, I miss mine right now. But, oh God, I love it. I love her, her whole brand. Um, love that. I love how she was phrasing. There's so much to unpack. <laughs> so much to unpack. I loved her choice of phrasing and when she takes a breath. And and again, like her, she is so expressive. Uh, let, let's unpack it going back and then I'll stop. Don't be mad. I'm going to be stopping quite a bit to kind of get more in detail about what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing Ah, uh, so much, so much, so awesome. Mm, so good. Probably some illegal panic, and you said hello, swallowing the words you say. See, like when she, no, I'm not okay. I love when she takes, and she was like taking a deep breath in right before that, like the. And it and you said hello, swallowing the words you say, you know I'm not okay. Bled me till I went cold, now you're coming back for more. You know me, you know I care. It, 
it's like a sense of urgency with her little taking a sip of breath in because, you know, she could hold the breath longer, but it's like all intentional. And that just adds to the drama. It adds to, to the tension of and the storytelling. But scars will never fade so mean me to I love that. One by one, I cut yeah. It's almost like she's giving us the visual of like, you know, one by one. Very theatrical, very, again, intentional. And it adds so much tension. Like, <laughs> beautiful. Love that. So me. And I love that clean off so you could never pull me down. It, it just, ah, it's delicious. <laughs> it's just so dramatic. It, it is so, it reminds me in a way of, of what Rand does too. He's so good at storytelling and giving us imagery in his poetry, with his poetry, right? And it's like what I feel with her. One day, one I'll box them up, scream murder. No, you can never hurt no one. So tell me where you're gone, gone. And tell me, is the fun gone? Whoa. Ooh. Maybe I should shed a tear. Cause this was me last year. So me. And then clean off. That pause gives me chills because it's such brilliant storytelling and and putting that into a song and making the, it so intense. Because whenever there's a little stop, a break, or like a little like you know differentiation in the in the voice, that is like, hey, pay attention, and it it works because we're like, whoa, what now, right? It's, it's like, boop. It, so brilliant. I love it. I just love that she is just so unique. She's not trying to like, oh, let's write something super hooky and super, you know, commercial sounding. She's just doing her thing. And I love and appreciate that. And the funny, ironic thing is it is super hooky. <laughs> Late at night where no one hears us. I love those little breaks, murder. And again, her breath is so intentional, even there as the song progresses, that it's it's just it it has a sense of urgency. It has a sense of anxiousness. It has it has a sense of even like I don't want to say excitement in the sense of ah, but like oh I can't wait to get even kind of thing. Um, her her performance is just like. She is mesmerizing. And I I meant to say it earlier, obviously with the little spotlight on her and then the shadow, you know, that also creates very theatrics on top of the theatrics, like her outfit and everything. It is just so, it's almost like I am just a puppet and I am not your puppet anymore. That's what I'm reading. Um, 
but her voice is beautiful. I also love like when she goes into the part that we just listened to, where you can where you can really hear her chest voice, really breathy, very warm sounding, and how she like goes back into the red a different register, but like it's so subtle, um, and and that breath, it's 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 beautiful. One day, one I'll box them up, scream murder. I love that part. <laughs> so you can never hurt no one. no fury like a Chills, chill factor. She can sing so beautifully soft. And 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 then belt it out like whoa! <laughs> her voice is so beautiful, and she has so much control over her voice. And again, it's like it, she adds. It is so dramatic the song, and she keeps adding subtle, like very subtle. She's adding, but this part right there, I'm like wow, wow! I want to hear it again. Day one, I'll box them up. Wow. <laughs> I love the end where she is. Remember how I said it was felt like a little, she's just like acting like she's a little puppet on a string and then one by one. And then she kind of like, ah, yeah. Oh my God, guys, I have chills. I have chills. I didn't really know what to expect. And um, her performance, she's such a great performer. I mean her her sense of melody her her way of being so engaging and intensifying the song as it progresses is just like blows my mind not just like the, her manners and her performance but in her voice where she has the ability to just like really belt it out and then pull it back and be super soft and almost fragile sounding um absolutely amazing she is such a great she's a true artist um just like ren and i only compare them because they've been collaborating and it just makes sense it makes sense that you would work with someone who kind of is like you like who is who, who's very expressive who's very storytelling who's very you know has a wild imagination and a really great way of telling a story putting it into a song and using melody intensity and 
acting even. Um, and when I say acting, I'm not saying she's pretending to be something, but just like it takes, it's a true artist. It's, it's just like a natural thing. Like that's just, oh my good. Uh, all right. Chinchilla is now officially part of this channel and we will definitely check out MF Diamonds because <laughs> I can't wait. Um, I just absolutely loved it. In the comments below, let me know what did you think and what what did you get from that? I don't really know the exact story, what she is singing about. Maybe you do. If you do, please let me know. I'm just assuming it's some scumbag that she's trying to get even with. Um, and it could be many people that uh, maybe um, don't want to get too specific right now. But like, you know, I'm just like, just uh, karma coming for those who who deserve it, who need it. Um, love it so much. Like I said, amazing. And I love also the simplicity of this song. It's not like a big production. It's just like piano on her. And to feel so engaged and 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 mesmerized by that blows my mind. Because that is like, you know, it never got boring because she always intensified it she always changed it up she always uh, can I say one more time intensify is kind of annoying I know <laughs> but the way she changed it up the way she always kind of like added a little something and then took it back down and really gave us like this there's when somebody really tells you something and you just cannot stop listening because it's so interesting it's so like tell me more tell me more right it felt so so I was so invested in it the entire time from start to finish. And that's the goal of everybody that is doing, you know, making music, doing art. You want someone's attention the entire time. And most importantly, you want to leave them wanting more. And I definitely want more. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Leave you with something uplifting and positive. As always, make every day a great day. Follow your bliss. Always follow your bliss. I decided this year to just like say yes more often and also say no more often meaning that I say yes when I know right away in my heart yes I want to do it I don't know how to do it I'm going to make this I'm going to pull this off but I want to do it I'm just going to do it I'm going to commit to it because then the universe just like takes care of it and to sometimes just say no saying that you know what yes this would be nice but it might just take away from the focus on what I really want to do. It's just another distraction, which there's always distraction, right? And I'm usually always like, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. But uh, learning when to say no and when to say yes and just trusting your intuition, your gut more is definitely something that I highly recommend you practice and you, you just like try do. And it could start with something small, but give it a chance, give it a try and see how it will probably you know enhance your 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 quality of life and happiness so with that said i'm gonna let you go don't forget to hit like subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss a post of mine i told you guys i'm not gonna go anywhere um just took a little break and then also please check out my music i would highly appreciate that and in the comments below just let me know what you thought of this performance of chinchilla what should what else should i should check out and maybe artists like her and you can always join my Patreon. A super thanks, super likes, always appreciated, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.